Swain II Estradson was king of Denmark from 1047 until his death in 1074. He was the son of Ulf Jarl and Estide Svenstatter. He was married three times, and fathered twenty children or more, including the five future kings Harold III Hen, Canute IV the Saint, Olaf I Hunger, Eric I Evergood and Niels out of wedlock. He was courageous in battle, but did not have much success as a military commander. His skeleton reveals that he was a tall, powerfully built man who walked with a limp. Biography Accession to the throne Swain was born in England, as the son of Norwegian Ulf Jarl and Estide Svenstatter, the daughter of King Swain I of Denmark and sister of King Canute the Great. Swain grew up a military leader, and served under King Annan Jacob of Sweden for a time. He pillaged the Albuesa area in 1040, but was caught by the Archbishop of Hamburg Bremen, who released him shortly thereafter. Sven was made Jarl under Danish King Harthik Knut, and led a campaign for him against Norway, but was beaten by Magnus I of Norway. When Harthik Knut died in 1042, Magnus claimed the Danish throne and made Sven his Jarl of Jutland. Swain fought for Magnus at the Battle of Lyskov Heath in 1043. Swain won great reputation at Lyskov Heath, and had the Danish nobles crown him king in Vibor in Jutland. He was defeated by Magnus on several occasions, and had to flee to Sweden. Eventually he managed to return and establish a foothold in Scania. The war between Magnus and Swain lasted until 1045, when Magnus' or uncle Harald Hardrada returned to Norway from exile. Harald and Swain joined forces, and Magnus decided to share the Norwegian throne with Harald. In 1047 Magnus died, having stated on his deathbed that his kingdom would be divided. Harald would get the throne of Norway, while Swain would be king of Denmark. Upon hearing of Magnus' death Swain said, Now so help me God, I shall never yield Denmark, feud with Harald Hardrada Harald. Unwilling to relinquish Denmark, attacked Swain and fought her long war. Herdeby was sacked in 1050, and Harald also sacked Aarhus. Swain almost captured Harald in 1050, when Harald attacked the coast of Jutland and loaded his ships with goods and captives. Swain's flotilla caught up with the Norwegians and Harald ordered his men to throw out the captured goods, thinking the Danes would stop to get the goods. Swain ordered his men to leave the goods and go after Harald. Harald then ordered his men to throw the captives overboard. For them Swain was willing to let Harald slip away. Swain came close to losing his life at the naval battle of Nisso off the coast of Halland in 1062. According to the sagas Harald urged Swain to meet him in a final and decisive battle at ELV in the spring of 1062. When Swain and the Danish army did not show up, Harald sent home a large part of his army, only keeping the more professional warriors in his fleet. When Swain finally came to meet Harald, his fleet numbered 300 ships to Harald's 150. The fleets met at night and the battle lasted until morning, when the Danes started to flee. In the sagas the Norwegian victory is largely credited to Earl Harkin of Arsen, who disengaged his ships from the Norwegian flanks and started attacking the weakened ships on the Danish flanks. This might be the aiding Norwegian chieftain that Saxo Grammaticus refers to, as turning the tide in Norwegian favour. Swain managed to escape the battle, reached land and stopped at the house of a peasant to ask for something to eat. What was the terrible rumbling in the night? She asked. Didn't you know the two kings were fighting all night? Asked one of Swain's men. Who won? Then, the woman asked. Norwegians, came the reply. It's a shame on us, for a king we already have. He limps and is timid. No, King Swain explained, timid the king of the Danes is assuredly not, defended in other of the king's men. But luck isn't with him and he lacks a victory. The house gull brought the men water and a towel to wash themselves. As the king was drying his hands, the woman tore the cloth from him. You should be ashamed of yourself for using the whole towel for yourself, she scolded. The day will come when I will have your permission to use the whole cloth, was the king's comment.
Her husband gave the king a horse and Swain continued on his way to Zealand. Sometime later the peasant was called to Zealand and given lands there for his service to the king, but his wife had to remain behind in Halland. Swain had a reputation for generosity and kindness that helped him on several occasions to win the trust of his people. Harold relinquished his claims to Denmark in 1064, in exchange for Swain's recognition of Harold as Harold III of Norway, and Harold sailed off to England to try to enforce his claim on the Crown of England. Consolidation of power Swain's connection to the Danish line of succession was his mother Estide Svensdatter, and he took the matronymic surname Estradson after her, emphasizing his link to the Danish royalty. He also minted his own coins. Swain sought to consolidate his power through links to the church as well as foreign powers, and actively sought the friendship of the popes. He wanted his eldest son Knud Magnus crowned by the Pope, but he died on the journey to Rome. He also unsuccessfully pressed for Harold Bluetooth, the first Christian king of Denmark, to be sanctified. He was an ally of Henry III, Holy Roman Emperor against Baldwin of Flanders in 1049, and Swain assisted his son-in-law Gottschalk in the Lutezi Civil War of 1057. After Harold Hardrada was defeated and killed at the Battle of Stamford Bridge and William the Conqueror had conquered England, Swain turned his attention to England, once ruled by his uncle Canute the Great. He joined forces with Edgar Atling, the last remaining heir of the Anglo-Saxon royal house, and sent a force to attack King William in 1069. However, after capturing York, Swain accepted a payment from William to desert Edgar, who then returned into exile in Scotland. Swain failed another attempt in 1074-1075. Relationship with the Church Swain feared that Archbishop Adalbert of Hamburg would fill the upper ranks of Denmark's churches with Germans. So he brought Anglo-Danes over from England to keep the Danish church independent. Under the influence of Swain, Denmark was divided into eight dioceses around 1060. He set the dioceses up by donating large tracts of land, with the Diocese of Roskilde being the highest favoured one, as he had a good relationship with Bishop Wilhelm of Roskilde. When Archbishop Adalbert died in 1072, Swain was able to deal directly with the Holy See. He was determined to bring men to Denmark to teach him and his people Latin so they could converse with the rest of Europe on equal terms. Adam of Bremen traveled to meet this learned king and came away with greater respect for the king's patience and wisdom. Swain encouraged the building of churches all over Denmark, and Adam of Bremen was astounded that there were 300 churches in Scania alone, more than in all the other countries of the north put together. Swain could be ruthless. One New Year's Eve it was reported to the king that several of his guests and hired men had ridiculed him and talked behind his back. The king was so angry that he had them murdered in the church on New Year's Day. When the king arrived at Roskilde Cathedral for Mass, his friend Bishop Wilhelm met to him at the door and forbade the king and his party to enter. You stand condemned before God, a murderer. Who has defiled the house of God with blood, cried the bishop and pushed the king back with his shepherd's crook. He declared the king excommunicated from the church. The king's men drew their swords and stepped forward to hack the bishop down, but Bishop Wilhelm held his ground. Let him be, shouted the king and withdrew to his farm. There he removed his New Year's fine clothing and weapons and dressed in sackcloth. Then he walked back to the cathedral in his bare feet and cast himself face down in front of the entrance. Bishop Wilhelm had just begun the Mass when he was told the king lay humbled at the door. Bishop Wilhelm stopped the service and went to the door to hear the king's abject confession. When the bishop realized the king was truly repentant, he raised him up, lifted the excommunication and led him into the cathedral. Death King Swain died at his farm, Soda Up, near Ernehove Tingsted, near the town of Abenra. The Danish chronicles date his death to 1074, while some later sources argue that 1076 was his correct year of death. 
The king's body was carried to Roskila Cathedral where he was interred in a pillar of the choir next to the remains of Bishop Wilhelm. Later he was called the Father of Kings because five of his fifteen sons became kings of Denmark. Legacy one of the legacies of King Swain was a fundamental change in Danish society which had been based on whether a person was free or a bondsman. Swain is often considered to be Denmark's last Viking king as well as the first medieval one. A strengthened church in alliance with the landowning noble families began to pit their power against the royal family. The peasants were left to fend for themselves. Swain built a strong foundation for royal power through cooperation with the church. He completed the final partition of Denmark into dioceses by corresponding directly with the Pope, bypassing the Archbishop of Hamburg, Bremen. During his reign hundreds of small wooden churches were built throughout the kingdom, of which many were rebuilt as stone churches in the 12th century. Swain sought to create a Nordic archbishopric under Danish rule, a feat which his son Eric I ever good accomplished. Swain seems to have been able to read and write, and was described as an especially educated monarch by his personal friend, Pope Gregory VII. He is the source of much of our current knowledge about Denmark and Sweden in the 9th and 10th centuries. Having told the story of his ancestry to historian Adam of Bremen around 1070, Isju Swain's first marriage was to Gida of Sweden, daughter of King Anne and Jacob of Sweden. His second marriage, in 1050, was to Gunhild Svensdottir, the stepmother of Gida. The Archbishop of Hamburg Bremen ordered that the union be dissolved, which was effectuated by Pope Leo IX. After Harald Hardrada's death, Swain married his widow Tora Torberg's daughter. He took one mistress after another during his life. Swain fathered at least 20 children, of whom only one was born in wedlock, with Gunhild, Sven Svensson, who died young, with various concubines, Knud Magnus, Harald III Hen of Denmark, Knut IV the Saint of Denmark, Olaf I Hunger of Denmark, Eric I Evergood of Denmark, Sven Tronkriever, Ulf Svensson, Benedict Svensson, Bjorn Svensson, Duke of Nordelbingen from 1099, Niels of Denmark, Sigrid Svenstatter, wife of Prince Gottschalk, Ingrid, wife of Olav III of Norway, Swain the Crusader, Thorgal Svensson, Sigurd Svensson, died in war against the Wends, Guttorm Svensson, Omen Svensson, Gunhild Svensdatter, Ranhild Svensdatter, wife of Sven Aslaskson, Ancestry, 